More Patriots died there than any other site in the Revolutionary War. But Valley Forge wasn't a battle. It was a winter encampment. So how did nearly 2,000 troops perish in rural Pennsylvania? And how, despite these losses, did the Continental Army end the winter in better fighting form? On December 11, 1777, 12,000 Continental Army troops marched into a wooded valley in White Marsh, Pennsylvania. The Patriots had lost the capital, Philadelphia, to the British, and they were looking for a place to lick their wounds over winter. But despite their exhaustion, it was no time to rest. General George Washington divided his men into teams of 12 to build defenses and log huts for shelter. They were a diverse force, including free black men, enslaved people, and many Oneida and Tuscarora tribal allies. There were women present too, in the form of camp followers and wives. Even Martha Washington spent the winter with her husband. Together, they built around 2,000 huts over 11 miles of terrain, making Valley Forge the colony's fourth largest settlement. But it certainly wasn't a prosperous city. Many men lacked basic clothes, but the biggest problem was food shortages. Foraging missions were sent far afield. They barely brought back enough to keep people alive. One Native American woman, Holly Cooper, taught soldiers how to make soup from corn husks. Many were too weak to survive the deadly illnesses that circulated in the camp. Typhus, scurvy, dysentery, and smallpox. Of the 12,000 who started the winter at Valley Forge, one in six never saw the spring. But for the generals, the camp was about more than just surviving. The Continentals were still in need of training. The solution to this came in the unlikely form of Baron Friedrich von Steuben. He'd been a drill master in the Prussian army, and his training transformed the Patriots into disciplined troops, able to hold formation in the chaos of battle. Legend has it that Valley Forge was the harshest of winters, but it was relatively mild. It's actually a metaphor for the difficult circumstances the Patriots found themselves in. Circumstances which forged the spirit and fighting ability of the Continental Army. So when they marched out of the camp in the spring, they were more than ready to face the British for another season of battle.